guys, it's another day here in Zanzibar. So today we are going to see the Freddie Mercury uh, Museum, which is uh, a walking distance from uh, where I'm staying, the hotel. Uh, that is the Z Life uh, Hostel. So we are going to take a short walk to Freddie Mercury Museum, and I'm so so excited. You guys already know how much I love uh, Freddie Mercury and the band Queen. So let's go and check out. Uh, the museum and uh, get to learn more about uh, Freddie Mercury and uh, of course I'll take you along so come along with me. So guys I'm finally here at uh, Freddie Mercury Museum and uh, as you can see this hat is so big let me remove it. That is our guy our legend uh, Freddie Mercury yeah I'm so excited by the way so yeah I'm here and uh, as you can see the famous quotes from uh, his uh, songs over there so this is awesome and uh, I can't wait to get in huh? <laughs> so guys I'm uh, finally here inside the museum so my friends uh, decided that uh, it's uh, not their kind of thing so I'm all alone and uh, definitely gonna have fun because uh, this is Freddie Mercury right so I already have my ticket uh, for an, an uh, Tanzanian or rather if you're not a Tanzanian you pay eight dollars so yeah that's what i've paid and uh, let's get the two uh, uh, uh so as you can see there is our guy freddie mercury uh-huh the history and uh, you can hear the music in the background right so you know we are in a uh, freddie mercury museum yeah yeah so there's so much to see here oh my goodness i'm uh, so excited. Look at Freddie Mercury as a baby. This is the uh, him. It's so awesome. So, ooh la la. <laughs> so anyway, I'm so excited. I'm overwhelmed actually, if I would say. I am overwhelmed. Huh? <laughs> so, this is so awesome. Ah. Uh -huh. Wow. Ah, so this is in uh, Zanzibar, I believe. Yeah, I think this is in Zanzibar. Yeah, pictured with his nanny Sabine at home in the garden. Sabine took care of uh, uh, Farouk until the age of uh, four. Wow! Okay. So let's have a walk. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be a star. I'm going to be a legend. Huh? And he became a legend. So his words came to pass, as you can see. Hi. Handwritten lyrics. So these are uh, Freddie's handwritten lyrics. You can see. I'm curious. Let me read one. Huh? This is one. Oh my God. His handwriting was uh, on another level. I can't even read. Let me just focus on uh, this. Then uh, I'll take the video. Cause, uh... Aha. So guys, as you can see, the quote is so awesome because uh, I dress to kill but tastefully and uh, from uh, Freddie Mercury's uh, fashion, you guys know how crazy it makes me feel so I'm excited. Queen the band, Deep Cut, these are albums. Wow. Oh, I 
and the moment we've all been waiting for. Huh? Galileo, Galileo. I am overwhelmed. Honestly, I am overwhelmed. Like, uh, I didn't, I, okay, I don't know what I expected, but uh, this is too much. Beyond my expectations, so I love it, huh? So guys, I'm going to touch an outfit worn by Freddie Mercury, huh? <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Mm. These are uh, images from uh, the Live Aid concert, as you can see. And uh, these are the performances that were to take place at uh, uh, the Live Aid. I can see the who there, I can see Wham, I can see uh, Sting, I can see who else, oh my god, David Bowie, I can see Elvis Costello, Elton John, ah, I'm amazed, like this is awesome. <laughs> This looks like uh, the one from the Live Aid concert, but uh, not so sure. The king, huh? the legend. Of course, Bohemian Rhapsody. Guys, I'm uh, just reading this over here that uh, Farouk, who's uh, Freddie Mercury, uh, was in uh, boxing and uh, uh, when uh, his mom heard that uh, he's participating in uh, boxing, uh, she had to write a letter to him asking him to stop playing it. Uh, so it reminds me of a conversation that I had with a friend about, uh, it was about uh, like uh, playing uh, ice hockey. Uh, so I was saying that uh, if I had a child like, uh, and they are doing the contact activities or rather contact sports, uh, I wouldn't be okay with it. So I'm curious, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section, like, uh, would you be okay with uh, these uh, contact activities for your child if uh, you have, if not, were you comfortable or uh, did you play them? And uh, how was it like for your parents, especially your mom? So let me know in the comment section. And uh, so far, I hope you're loving the, uh, the tour of uh, this uh, Freddie Mercury Museum because uh, I'm loving the history and getting to learn more about uh, Zanzibar and uh, Freddie Mercury as an individual. And uh, from uh, what I've uh, found so far, he was so artistic and uh, so like uh, there's this one that says like uh, whatever he put his, uh, uh, his uh, mind to, he achieved or rather succeeded in it. And uh, there's this one here that says he liked anything artistic and uh, anything that gave him a chance to pose. And uh, for sure from the children or rather the uh, baby pictures of him, it's like uh, he started posing from a very young age and uh, as we all know he was uh, a fashion legend and uh, posing was just his thing. So I would say Freddie Mercury was just born to be a legend. Let me know in the comment section what uh, you think so far.
Uh, so guys, I'm uh, getting to learn so much here at uh, the Freddie Mercury Museum and uh, so far I've uh, learned that uh, besides uh, being artistic like in terms of uh, creativity and uh, loving to pose, uh, Freddie Mercury also loved to uh, cycle and uh, he would cycle with his uh, friend and uh, it's thought that uh, it's thought that uh, the song bicycle race is uh, inspired by his love for cycling uh, so i haven't listened to that song yet but i think definitely gonna listen to it and uh, i'm finding this quite uh, interesting i hope you're loving the tour so far let me know in the comment section and uh, of course let's continue doing this I also learned that uh, Freddie Mercury was uh, highly inspired by Jimi Hendrix and uh, this picture over here showcases that. Uh, so that's it for our tour. So thank you for watching this with me. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it because uh, me, I had a time of my life like uh, this was really a dream come true. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.